In Jamaica, the government is looking to capitalize immensely from its agroparks initiative. Apart from providing sustainable food production locally, the government is looking to export agropark products. More from Peter Gay Coombs. You've probably heard of the Jamaican government's thrust to develop a more vibrant agricultural sector, growing more of the foods Jamaicans consume, thereby cutting down the burdensome food import bill. One of the key initiatives under this plan is the creation of agro-parks. So far, the government has implemented nine parks and farmers have been cultivating crops such as onions, peppers and Irish potatoes, among others. But the vision doesn't stop there. Now the government is looking to export some of these products to overseas markets such as the United States and the UK. Recently, buyers from the US were in the island to get a first-hand view. They toured the agroparks in Plantain Garden and Yalas in St. Thomas, Ebony Park and Spring Plain in St. Catherine, as well as Dove House in St. Elizabeth. Of that number, we have selected a, 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 a few that we believe have the right characteristics that we can work with. The, the idea is to build long-term partnerships with these buyers based in the United States to sustainably increase Jamaica's exports through the agropark program. And we felt it was important for them to come to Jamaica to see what we're doing, to meet with the, the, the farmers, because we think sometimes there is not enough information flow between farmers at the beginning of the process and the buyers you know, towards the end of the process. Dr. Derek Deslandes is in charge of the Ministry of Agriculture's Competitiveness Project. He notes that the next phase of the project is to identify the farm produce in which the international market is interested. This is an agricultural competitiveness program, so competitiveness is very, very important because we have to be internationally competitive in what we do. So we will, over the next couple of weeks, identify a number of products, ones that we can grow immediately, so, for example, pumpkins comes to mind, okra we, we will begin to explore immediately. They are also interested in, in, in Guinep, so Chenet, as my Trinidadian colleagues would say. But um, it, has, it has really been a really good session. I think the, we, we are building a relationship. The Inter-American Development Bank is helping to fund the competitiveness program. It's also a collaborative effort among stakeholders such as Jampro. We are also working with RADA. We're working with the National Irrigation Commission. We're working with AIC, Agri-Invest Agri Corporation. And we're also now working with JAMPRO because at the end of the day, we, we, it requires a number of different resources in order to get this thing working and working effectively. Meanwhile, the Inter-American Institute of Corporation for Agriculture, AICA, is providing some support. They're facilitating the link between buyers and farmers. We are implementing a program, the export platforms that was developed by ECA and implemented first in Latin America. This is the first time um, in the Caribbean we are actually instituting the program. Uh, we have gone through uh, several stages in that program. This stage we are at here is with the buyers where we bring the buyers into the country to actually meet the, the growers for them to see the produce and actually choose and tell the growers what they're looking for. The growers have expressed complete and absolute content with actually being a part of the process and knowing what is desired of them. And already fresh produce buyers from the U.S. are expressing satisfaction. They are impressed with the high quality of Jamaican produce. My colleagues, we are um, very impressed with what we've seen so far. The agro packs have been uh, impressive. I think there's a lot of opportunities to do uh, a lot of business here uh, to grow the exports like that is the goal. And uh, uh, we've been doing, uh, all of us here have, uh, have been doing some exports, uh, uh, imports out of uh, Jamaica already. But I, after seeing what we've seen, I think that with, uh, with some uh, with some effort from all of the parties in this group here, we can uh, truly reach the goal that is to increase uh, exports out of uh, Jamaica. PTG Coombs for Seeing Caribbean News.